the statue of Junipero Serra torn down, not just once, but twice. Once in San Francisco, once in Los Angeles. Before I pray with you guys, I'm going to run the clip. This is the clip of the San Francisco teardown of Blessed Junipero Serra. We're going to talk about who he is. Uh, why Antifa hates him, why BLM hates him, why communists hate him, why all atheists hate him, how important he is for American Catholic history. But first, I'm going to run this clip. I'm going to run two clips. First, the San Francisco pull down, then the LA pull down. Here's the San Francisco. Listen to the cheering. Now watch this guy run out and start attacking the statue. Look at this. He starts kicking it, hitting it. Look at this guy. Unbelievable. Okay, now here is the the next one. This is L.A. This just happened. Again, listen to the cheering. Unbelievable. Anti-Christian, anti-Christ. Look at the crowd. Love it. This is what we're up against. You see, the problem is it was never going to end with just Confederate generals, but they even wanted to tear down George Washington. Anyone in American history, they want to tear it down. It's just like Archbishop Vigano said to Trump it is the alchemist Freemasonic slogan, Solve et Coagula. Dissolve and recongeal. They want to destroy everything that is associated with America. It's thoroughly satanic. And let me tell you something. These people hate Jesus Christ more than they hate George Washington and Robert E. Lee. Their greatest passion is against the Lord Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church. And this is why Junipero Serra is under attack. And it will be more. This is just the beginning. So I'm going to talk about who he was why this is happening. I asked the question, where are the bishops? Where are the California bishops right now? And then I'm going to give some recommendations at the end for what Catholic men can do in the months and years to come as they try to destroy our beloved statues. Before we do all that, we're going to pray. We're going to pray the Our Father. We're going to pray it in Latin. Today's Father's Day. We're going to pray for all the fathers. Oremus. Nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater noster, qui es in celi, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, se libera nos amalo. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you would protect our nation, and protect our church, and protect our lovely and good statues of our Lord, our Lady, and all the saints. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And nomine Patris et Fidei, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right, now if you want to understand where these folks are coming from, I'm going to share a quick interview with you that's going to show the madness. They believe Junipero Serra is the founder of California slavery and police brutality. Watch this clip. Here we go. The Sarah statue represents, you know, mass incarceration. It's important that folks know that mass incarceration as it exists now began with the mission system. Okay, so mass incarceration in California. In case you didn't know, that began with uh, Junipero Serra, the Franciscan friar priest. That's what this guy's saying. Are you serious? Let's continue. California has its own legacy of slavery. You know, the legacy of policing that we see now began through the mission system. So it's important to... Okay, so the policing system that he sees as unjust came from the Catholic missionary system of Junipero Serra. So if you're listening to uh, NWA straight out of Compton, all the priest, police brutality that they're discussing in Compton and L.A. and all that, that all began, according to this guy, with Junipero Serra and the missionary work. Let's continue to listen what this guy has to say. That we see now began through the mission system. So it's important to, 
to reconcile with that, to understand that, and the Sarah statue represented all of that. Okay, so the Sarah statue represents police brutality, uh, mass incarceration, etc. So according to them, they need to rip down the statues of this Franciscan priest in order to fight against mass incarceration and police brutality. That's what these people are thinking. But ultimately, you'll notice these, these images are, are Junipero Serra, Father Serra, holding up the cross, holding up the crucifix. They're not just defiling an image of a Franciscan sainted priest. They're defiling the image of the Holy Cross of Jesus Christ. Now, who is Junipero Serra? As some of you say, juniper, like the juniper tree. He was a Franciscan friar. He was heroic. He founded nine of the original California missions. Now, all of you know that California, all the major cities have great Catholic names. San Diego is named after St. James. Los Angeles, the real name is Our Lady of Los Angeles, the Angels. That's the original name. Sacramento is named after the Blessed Sacrament. San Francisco is named after St. Francis. The Franciscans came in and started a huge revival and evangelized and baptized the native people of California. And Junipero Serra was the leader in this. And he was a man of great sanctity. He, I was reading about him. He, he put thorns inside of his Franciscan habit. He did extreme penance and he loved the people. He wanted to baptize the people. He wanted to baptize their children. You read the stories of Junipero Serra, and you realize this was a great man who came all the way from Spain and came to America, wild, wild west, and evangelized in Baja and all the way up into what we know as American California. So in a way, what California is, the native people being evangelized and baptized and California being Catholic, in the cities, having these Catholic names and this Catholic identity that goes all the way back. He died in 1780, 1784. So this is, his activity is the same time as you got George Washington over on the East Coast. But you have this major Catholic evangelization happening all the way on the West when this is part of Spain. So these Antifa people, these communists, they see... Junipero Serra, as part of colonization. He's an evil white man from Spain, and he's only here because he wants to enslave and, and incarcerate and to promote and set in a system of police brutality, what that guy just said. That's why he's here. He left Spain because he wanted to bring mean whiteness to California. And so what they have to do is they got to pull down every statue and image of Junipero Serra. But it's not going to stop there, folks. Soon it will be not just white men who came from Spain. It will be anybody who was Christian. Any sign of Christianity will be expelled from the public square. Crosses, statues of Our Lady, Statues of our Lord, statues of any of the saints. They're already, have you heard this? They're already campaigning to rename the city of St. Louis after King St. Louis. They want to scrub clean every remnant of Catholic and Christian identity from this nation. Why? Because they're atheistic communists. They hate God. They hate God. Christ. For those of you joining us, please like the video. Really appreciate everybody who's a thumb up. Please share it right when you're next to the thumbs up. There's a share button. Please share this video on Facebook. I do appreciate that. And if you're new, subscribe. This is live. We're live on Sunday night talking about Junipero Serra, the statues being pulled down. It's going to get a lot worse, folks. It's going to get a lot worse. So my question is, this is kind of, I'm, I'm, Obviously, you can tell I'm upset about this. There's a statue of Junipero Serra in Washington. Uh, I think it's at the uh, it's at the Capitol. They're probably going to remove that. I was last year when I was on Fox for for infiltration. 
I took my kids to um, the big uh, history museum there in New York. And outside was a statue of Teddy Roosevelt. And he had, I think, a Native American with him. And he maybe had an African with him because he had hunted in Africa. And I looked at that statue and I was like, that statue is not going to last long. It's not going to last long. People are going to see that. They're going to notice it. and They're going to get rid of it. I just read this morning. City of New York has announced we're getting rid of that statue of Teddy Roosevelt as well. They are going to remove everything until all that's left is Lenin, Stalin, and Chairman Mao. And ultimately, Baphomet, Satan, Lucifer, Solve et Coagula. Now, the big question is, it's Father's Day today. Where are the spiritual fathers? Do you agree with me? Hit the thumbs up. Like it. Where are the spiritual fathers? Where are the priests? Where are the California bishops? Now, I know uh, Archbishop Corleone, San Francisco, he wrote a letter. Okay, good. You wrote a letter. Let me read some of it real quick. Here's some of the Bishop of San Francisco's remarks. What is happening to our society? A renewed national movement to heal memories and correct the injustice, injustices of racism and police brutality in our country has been hijacked by some into a movement of violence, looting, and vandalism. The toppling and defacing of statues in Golden Park, including that of St. Junipero Serra, have become the latest example. I mean, I have respect for the Archbishop, His Excellency. He says the Latin Mass. I know people promote and advocate him, but this reads like a soft New York Times article. This is weak. We are in a moment of attack. They are at the gates. I don't want to hear what is happening to our society. A renewed national movement to heal memory. Come on. We need someone to talk like the Apostle Paul. Really, what we need is someone right now to talk like St. John of Damascus. St. John of Damascus is a church father. He's a doctor of the church. He defended the images of the Catholic faith. He said, no, you can't destroy images of Jesus, Mary, the saints, crucifixes, crosses, because there's a whole heresy called iconoclasm. They were Christians wanting to destroy images of Jesus, Mary, saints, anything religious, because they said, look, the Ten Commandments say don't have images, don't reverence images, so we need to get rid of all these images. John of Damascus came along and said, ho, 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 hold up. Christ is, as Paul says, the icon of the Father. Christ is the image of the Father. And since Christ became man, fully God, fully man, you could see him. You could touch him. You could draw a picture of Christ. He wasn't a ghost. Because of that incarnational reality, we can depict the incarnate Christ. We can depict his mother, the saints. We know that there were statues, images of angels in the Holy of Holies, even though the Jews weren't supposed to have idols. So if that's the case, how much more so in the New Testament could we have and venerate images of Christ, Our Lady, and the saints? And so he wrote and he defended and he suffered to defend the images of, a saint, of the saints and of Christ. Where are the men like John of Damascus? I shouldn't be making this video. Bishop Barron should be making this video right now. Archbishop Gomez, Archbishop of Los Angeles, should be making this video right now with the outrage. And not only should you make, not just write a letter, a statement, that's easy. You can do that in five minutes. Make a video, this is easy. I'm above my garage. My kids are downstairs. My kids are outside this window playing. This is easy. How about we have some guys put on their big boy pants underneath their big boy cassock, put on their big boy miter, get their crozier, and go out to where these statues were and denounce it and preach the gospel and say, Junipero Cerro came to this place to teach you and to give you Jesus Christ. And now you're rejecting Christ. You're rejecting Junipero. 
you're rejecting the gospel, you're rejecting what's goodness. This is going to ruin our cities, our states, our communities. Christ is the Prince of Peace. He's all we have. Our nation will be destroyed and burnt to the ground if we don't turn to Jesus Christ. Why aren't the big boy bishops out there at the sites of these torn down images preaching that message? See that right there? That's in LA. Archbishop Gomez needs to go there and proclaim this was wrong. This was a mortal sin against an image, a holy image of a great saint. This has to be denounced. We must stop the iconoclasm. Iconoclasm is a heresy and a mortal sin. And yes, I'm, a, I'm against tearing down statues of great historical political figures. But when it comes to the statues of our holiest, our priests, our saints, our doctors of the church, our Blessed Mother. They're coming after the Blessed Mother, I guarantee it. All over America, these commies, these atheists, they're going to come after and they're going to start decapitating and spray painting and defacing images of the Blessed Mother. Because Satan hates the Blessed Mother. They're going to do it to crucifixes and crosses. They're going to begin defacing everything. So where are the bishops? Bishop Barron, he's got a much bigger platform than I do. He's got a full-time staff, full-time videography, a studio, all that. Where's that? This is happening in California. Gomez, Corleone, get your miters and croziers on. Get out there and do some battle. Be like St. Boniface. Be like John of Damascus. I mean, the reason that we love celibacy and the celibate priesthood is because you don't have a wife, you don't have little kids, you don't have college funds. You're ready to suffer like Junipero Serro did, to do penance, to go into the public square and to risk ridicule, shame, and even bloodshed. That's why we have clerical celibacy. It's not to save money on the bottom line on the parish uh, salary sheet. It's so that priests and bishops are heroes, heroic fathers, heroic fathers. So what are we going to do? So far, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. So far, our bishops are still in their holes. Yeah, but Taylor, they're like really busy right now. The bishops are teaching social justice and trying to right the wrongs of racism. Give them a break. No. You're talking... Junipero Serra, the apostle of California, twice in a weekend has been defaced and destroyed to the cheers of crowds. It's not just an unfortunate event. This is an attack, an open public attack on Catholicism. And if you're a bishop, you're there to face that attack, period. So what do we do? All right, so now I'm going to talk to the men. Look, we need to be on watch. You live in St. Louis? And there's a plan to destroy statues of St. Louis. We Catholic men need to stand on watch and protect. Taylor, why would you do all this just for like a, a statue? Look, the Seventh Ecumenical Council, Council of Nicaea, says that when we revere sacred images, icons, and statues, statues, that reverence passes on to the prototype. If you show love and reverence to a photograph of your grandma, you're showing love and reverence to your grandma. How much more so in the spiritual world when you show love and reverence to, you know, an icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary or a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you're showing love and reverence to the mother of Jesus. Same thing with the crucifix, etc. So it is when we protect sacred items, we are showing love and reverence for those uh, those who are depicted in these images. So men, if there are attacks, we have to stand watch. Now, we don't want to get in any big altercations. You can have your phones and film the people. I also recommend this. I ran downstairs about one minute before the show, and I pulled these out of the back of my truck. You need these. 
because I watched all these videos of them pulling down the statues. And what they do is they throw up a rope, but usually they throw a cable or a chain. So if you got three or four ca Catholic guys and they throw up a cable, you just come out and you clip the cable. And then they can't pull the statue down. So these aren't expensive. Just get some. I think every guy in Texas has a pair of these in their truck. because You never want to be locked in and you never want to be locked out. So we got to stand watch. We got to organize. We got to tell our priests, our priests and our bishops, we are here to back you. If you're a hero, we want to be heroes backing you up. We are here to help you. And I guarantee it, bishops, priests, monsignors, you step up and just show us a little, little bit of heroic virtue, you will have thousands of Catholics behind you, men and women, ready to support you. We are, we need to buckle up. We need to buckle up. They're going to first come after Western tradition, European tradition, and that's quickly going to turn into the evils of Christianity. And then they will pinpoint that to the evils of the Catholic Church must be destroyed, must be wiped out, must be totally eradicated. So that it's at the point where Catholics can't hold office, Catholics can't go to law school, Catholics can't go to med school, Catholics can't do anything. We're secondary citizens. Let's stand up now. Let's pray. All right. That's the show. We're going to pray now. Happy Father's Day to all the dads. Keep up the good work. Be the Maccabee. I know it's hard being a dad right now, but it's worth it. It's good. It's a blessing. And we're going to pray the uh, the Hail Mary, the Ave Maria, and the Gloria Patri. We're going to pray it for our, our, our dads. I have a great dad. I have such a good dad that taught me how to be a man of virtue and to be a man of honesty and to think straight and to not live by my passion. So I thank you to my dad out there and a lot of other good men I know, they have good dads too. So we need to pray and thank God for our dads. We need to pray for our dads, pray for one another. And for those that don't have good dads, we need to pray for them. And then I really want to pray for our spiritual dads, these bishops, California bishops, Gomez, Barron, Corleone, all those guys. We need a moment of heroic virtue. So let's pray for that. Before we pray, I'd like everyone to like the video, hit the thumbs up, share the video. That's the best thing you can do is share this video. Hit the share button, share it on YouTube, and subscribe to the video. All right, we're going to pray now. Oremus. In nomine Patris et Fidei et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et et mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sico terat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. And merciful Father, we pray for all dads. We thank you for the good dads. We pray for those who didn't have the blessing of a good dad. And we pray for our spiritual fathers, that you would give them actual graces to, be ha to have heroic virtue and to face the evils in our time, that we can capture and reclaim the society and our culture for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We pray in his name. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fidei et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And of course, make sure you're praying that rosary every single day. If you're not praying the rosary every day, you're not on the team. The rosary is a great way to get to connected with Jesus Christ. I'm going to, as soon as this video is over, I'm going out those two doors downstairs, getting the family together, and we're going to pray the Holy Rosary as a family. We're going to meditate on the glorious mysteries that Mary gave to Dominic. And then we're going to have some, do some Father's Day, maybe have some ice cream, celebrate, have a good time. So you do that too. You pray the rosary every single day and fathers make sure you pray over your family and you bind and cast away all evil spirits and ask blessings and graces and goodness on your family so pray the rosary every day or you're not 
on the team. Again, thanks everybody for supporting the show, for liking the show, subscribing, all that. Remember, our moderator, Daniel K, he's doing the second channel. It's the, it's the highlight show. So he takes these shows, cuts them down. Make sure you subscribe over there. Also, thanks to everyone who supports the show over at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash DR Taylor Marshall. I send out autographed signed books and other cool merch things to everyone who helps support us here. Go check it out and I'll sign some stuff, send it out to you. Okay, remember our Lord Jesus Christ said you are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty, especially you dads. Be salty. Now go pray the rosary. God bless. Godspeed. Till next time, probably tomorrow. <laughs>